so very much, everyone, for coming. Um, I just want to say a special thank you to the Glen Ridge staff, um, Ms. Black, Ms. Pugh, Ms. Stewart, Ms. Richley, um, Mr. Kavanaugh, uh, Mr. Bonaguide for pulling all of this beautiful, everything so beautiful together. So thank you so much. So today is our first 2021 E3 graduation, and we're so excited. Thank you all for coming. Just want to say a little poem. And it says, learn from every mistake because every experience, encounter, and particularly your mistakes are there to teach you and force you into being more of who you are. And then figure out what is the right next move. And then the key to life is to develop an internal, moral, emotional GPS that can tell you which way to go. Very nice. Okay, so that's especially for you, Ben, for you, Alex, and for you, Tia. Um, next, I would like to introduce, actually, our executive director, Noah Noyce, who, because of you, we have everything we have. Honestly, he's been, he's the person that has opened the doors for us. He's the person that says yes, that we're able to do all the things that we do. Uh, we have our new extension of our new E3 program happening because Mr. Noyce. So next, I'd like to introduce Mr. Noyce. <laughs> Thanks, Ms. Long. I probably don't need the mic, but I'll use it anyway. So, uh, you know, I was thinking about what I wanted to say this afternoon at this uh, ceremony at E3, and so I did what I often do on important matters, and I asked my most trusted advisors, my eight-year-old daughters, what I should say. <laughs> and uh, over breakfast last week, and, and the first thing that uh, one of my daughters said was like, you know what, Dad, you should tell them about Gerald. You know about Gerald? No. Well, let me tell you about Gerald. So Gerald is the star of the book giraffes can't dance. So I'm going to read you the book and then we'll talk about why I think that's relevant. You ready? Tia, you ready? Alex? Ben? <clears throat> Goes like this. I'll show you the pictures too. Gerald, wa <laughs> Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to turn around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. <laughs> the chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and then eight baboons teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lion, the lion saw him coming and soon began to roar. Hey, look at Gerald. Oh, sorry. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. It gets better. Stay with me. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to his spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. It's getting a little better, right? <laughs> With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. 
He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Action shot. <laughs> How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. <laughs> then he raised his head up and he looked at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. So my message to you, Tia and Alex and Ben, we spent an awful lot of time together over many years, but what I would summarize my words to do today, for you today, is to embrace being a giraffe, tune out the theoretical lions in your life, find your own music, and make your own dance. Congratulations. <laughs> Ben, are you going to speak? Okay. So you want to come up to you? She's going to read something. Okay, so... What I learned while being here is you get out of the program and put into it. Uh, my best, my favorite memory here was meeting a previous student, her name's Riley. And then I want to thank all the staff who have supported me the whole time I've been here. And then what I'm doing next is I'm looking for a job and looking for things out in the community. be independent with uh, staff support for my next transitional living, what was my favorite memory, having fun times with my peers, and what did I, uh, who would I like to thank, Glenn Home and the Glenridge staff, uh, what will you be your next, uh, what am I going to do next? Uh, working at my job and living independently. Year, but something I learned that it's, you know, it's okay to be myself. That's something that I've always struggled with for a long time. And I learned that here it's okay because people go through the same things as me and everybody's going through their own things. Um, I think my greatest accomplishment this year, uh, accomplish, geez, accomplishment this year is getting a job. You know, that was, uh, started off as an internship. And then it worked into getting a full-time job because they enjoyed having me and I was still putting in the dedication for it. Uh, my greatest memory for this year was learning how to ski. That was something that I very much enjoyed. Thanks to Mr. Noise. In like five minutes, Mr. Noise helped me learn how to ski and was actually pretty good at it, surprisingly. Uh, I'd like to thank all the staff this year for supporting me and helping me throughout, you know, getting everything done, getting my school done. Uh, Mr. Bonaguy, especially because, you know, I could talk to him whenever I need. And in the near future of next year, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, my plan.
plan is staying in Connecticut for a while and exploring my career in culinary. Next, we'll have Mr. Bonaguide and Mr. Cavanaugh. No, you first. You first? Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Mr. Cavanaugh. <laughs> All right, congratulations, guys. Um, so I've got a prop for this somewhere in here. Okay. So I have here a nice, crisp $20 bill. Okay? It's a real, it's a real $20 bill. Who would like this $20 bill? <laughs> I knew your arm was going to be first. Come on, who wants a $20 bill? Who doesn't yeah, want a $20 sure. bill? Yes, yeah, yeah. everybody wants yes. a $20 bill, right? Okay. <clears throat> no! All right. Does anyone still want this $20 bill? <laughs> right. So even though this $20 bill has been crunched up and stepped on and smushed, it still retains its value. It's still a $20 bill. So I think there's a correlation here for you guys. All right, we came out of a global pandemic. All right, we had a lot of roadblocks, a lot of challenges, and you guys still retained your value. Um, and I think this is an important thing to take away from this year that, you know, not despite all the things that have happened with new environments, new jobs, new people, things being closed, having to learn how to, you know, still work on your goals while being stuck here at Glen Ridge for several months, um, you guys still persevered and you guys still retained your value. Um, but beyond that, what I want you guys to really leave with understanding is that not only did you guys retain your value, but you increased your value. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, you guys increased your value despite all these things against you. Um, Tia, you really worked hard to come out of your shell. You have a lot of great action steps that I know you're excited about approaching, and I hope you know, if you can, if you can attack those action steps with the, the enthusiasm and the excitement that you did your last MAPS meeting, I know you're going to do awesome. It was so great to see how excited you were, all right? Alex, you're embarking on a brand new aspect of the transition program for the first time moving into a completely independent apartment, which is awesome. And you're going to be the one to really pave the way for that, that whole new aspect of this program, all right? Ben, first transition student in history to get a full-time job. And you did it all by yourself. You know, this is huge. Not only did you guys retain your value, but you guys enhanced that value. And I think you will continue to do that. So I want you guys to remember, things will get tough. Things will get hard at times. When they do, just remember that you guys are strong and have persevered, and that you guys will not only, you know, retain the value you have, but you guys will continue to increase it in everything you do. All right, so congratulations to all three of you. All right, you guys have done an awesome job. Mr. Kavanaugh, come up for the presentation of their certificates. Who gets the 20? <laughs> me! Well, me! I, I heard you were passing out cash at the end. So. <laughs> what about 220? <laughs> right, so, first and foremost, Tia. for the E3 program, and you don't know this, but also my very pleasure to give you your high school diploma. Bless you, Mary. Nice. <laughs> Completion. Yes. And thank you. Ready? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, we've been here for a long time. Uh, lots of people. Last but not least, Ben. 
<laughs> you know, Ben loves coming up on stage, <laughs> talking in front of people. Pleasure to you. And we will see each other for a lot longer then. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say congratulations. It's the end of our uh, our graduation to the 2021 first E3 graduates.